Happy New Year, everyone. It's great to have you back. It's great to be back. I hope everybody had a, a great holiday and a wonderful season, created some really nice memories. We did, and uh, my family is, uh, is really, really grateful for, for the holiday season, the opportunity to be able to do things together. So um, feel free to share some of your experiences with us. What we're going to be doing tonight, I'm going to share with you some incredible customer reviews. Uh, I want you to think in terms of people that you know that could also benefit from, some, from solar size. We're going to read some questions and um, answer some of those questions. And then I want, I want you to go ahead and write during the course of this program what some of your goals and objectives and health concerns are. And I will address what we can with that. One of my goals and objectives is to revolutionize exercises, solar size. You do not have to work hard. You, you, can, you can, but you don't have to, to stay healthy and have a good quality of life. Solar size, you can play hard at, and when you play hard at, it works on you. And we have almost very few limitations. So most people are gonna be able to benefit with solar size. So next week, I want you to be prepared when you come online to do a cellar size exercise routine with me. For those who are interested in weight loss and in dealing with cellulite or in increasing circulation or strengthening the heart, we're going to do a cellar size aerobics program for 20 minutes. And in that cellar size aerobics program, I'm going to make it available on our Mr. Rebounder app so that when we're done with the program you'll be able to go on the Mr. Rebounder app and have the same routine that you can follow. We'll put it under the advanced section. We're going to be using, we've got a lot of good ideas and, and a lot that we want to do with the Mr. Rebounder app so for those of you who are participating in that um, it's, uh, we've got some good customer reviews and we're going to have to start reading some of those too. But welcome, I'd like to read some of these. Michelle writes, excellent quality and amazing customer service. This rebounder is touch, top notch, I love it. Thank you very much. Says, wow, this piece of exercise equipment is fantastic. I cannot live without my rebounder. I've had it for years and every other rebounder I've had did nothing but pop springs constantly and they were expensive, not cheap. And I'm only 120 pounds. The springs on this one last and last and last and the bounce is, has almost no impact on the body. I can work out on this rebounder for well over two hours straight on a daily basis and feel wonderful. I live to exercise on this phenomenal piece of equipment. I not only exercise on it for my body, but also for my emotional health. If I'm feeling worried or upset, I will get on my rebounder and start jumping. I want to encourage everybody to listen to that. If you're stressed, if you need to think creatively, if you need to memorize or learn something, try doing it on the cellar sizer and see what the results are. I feel better within 10 min minutes or less. I am a real person. I was not paid to share this with you. I just thought you should have the opportunity to get a piece of equipment that will literally change your life if you use it regularly. I really, it really will help you lose weight and in the areas that it is hardest to lose it in. And last, and last and last. Oh, and last and last and last. Every other piece of exercise equipment I've ever owned was literally used until it fell apart. And it was all expensive equipment. My advice to you, buy. And David is wonderful. I have talked with him personally on the phone myself. How many companies can you buy from and literally be able to personally speak with the owner and himself about what you purchased? I have dealt with no other company but this one that I could honestly say that about. A plus in every way possible for sure. Sherry, thank you, Sherry. Those comments are motivating um, to, to us to appreciate that. All right, Rose says, the results I've noticed most is the lovely firm, firmness and tone in my arms. I'm enjoying looking at them and feel good wearing clothes that show my arms. Rose, thank you, Rose. My cellar size arrived today, so I gave Jerry a call. He asked that I email you to share the fact that I put it together by myself, which was no easy feat as I will be, in, I will be 80 in June. I'm, I'm mechanical and have a strong body, 
but I'm coping with scoliosis and walking a mile is not an option. I was just too anxious to wait for help because I have tried other equipment in the past and they just didn't do it for me or else it was just too boring. So now I have been on it twice already this afternoon for a short period and feel certain that this is the exercise I need to get me through the next 15 years or more. Longevity runs in my family. I'm grateful for the seller's eyes and for Jerry's help and support in giving me a startup program that I can do and pr progress with. I expect to be a happy rebounder user and know that I have purchased the best. Regards, Arlene. Thank you, Arlene. Dennis, Dennis Reich writes, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you. I purchased a rebounder from you when I was approximately 315 pounds. You gave me advice on using it and at a, a show you were demonstrating when you were on your rebounder. I took your advice and started doing the health balance and gradually worked up to more vigorous exercises. I found it to be one of the easiest exercises I ever did in spite of my weight. I found no stress on my joints with a singular, singular eating plan or, or sensible eating plan and using your rebounder, I lost approximately 98 pounds. I found I had more energy and zest. I remember him when he, uh, he lost that 98 pounds, he was still losing weight. And he was bouncing around so light on his feet that it was, he lost that 98 pounds in just six months. Amazing. Okay. I have permission to share this with you. Um, for those who have or are dealing with lymphedema or swelling in the legs, uh, water retention, um, movement is important to activate lymph um, circulation and lymphatic pumping. But the lymphatic system, because it holds a negative pressure, it causes suction. When you get the entire lymphatic system sucking, it starts to create a negative um, pressure that pulls that circulation in between the tissue spaces, the bones and the joints, and other areas of the body. It's literally the vacuum system that keeps us alive and healthy. But she writes, I've had lymphedema in my legs since the 1970s. Tests showed extensive sclerosis and obstruction of the upper leg lymphatics. In the 70s, I had three surgeries that included subcutaneous excision of my calf and thigh. These surgeries were unsuccessful in improving the lymph drainage. For over 20 years, I wore my compression stockings, elevated my leg at night, and unsuccessfully sought help from various doctors. In the early 2000s, I started researching rebounding for my lymphatic system and found out about the Cellarcizer. I purchased one and it has made a big difference in reducing swelling in my left leg. I do the exercises that you have on your videos while wearing my compression stocking. In the morning and evening, I also do two exercises while sitting on the cellar sizer without my compression stocking on. The first one I do is bicycles while bouncing. I lean back and hold on to the cellar sizer bar and keep my legs parallel to the floor. The second exercise I do while sitting on the cellar sizer is to keep my legs as vertical as possible and pump my ankles up and down while bouncing. You can see what that can do to the pressure that works the calf muscle and the, the, the moving up and down makes it easier to move that fluid back up toward the, 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 the lymph channels and thoracic duct and, and in, back into the bloodstream. Using the cellar sizer has reduced the pain and swelling in my leg because researchers have found that buildup of lymph fluid is actually an inflammatory response within the tissue of the skin and not just a pumping problem in the lymphatic system. Which is why I say when you have millions of one-way valves sucking 
because of the pressure changes and the moving up and down, you help to activate that vacuum system of suction that pulls that circulation through the tissue spaces of the body and the bones and joints. I adhere to a whole plant food based diet that includes many inflammatory foods. I believe that using my cellar and eating healthy has enabled my leg to look and feel the best that it has since it started swelling decades ago. The first photo was taken in 1978. Notice how swollen my ankle was. And if you can see this, you have to kind of look down at the bottom there. The second photo was in the 1980s. And you can really, you get a good feeling of what she was up against there. And the last photo is current. And you look at her thighs and legs now. She says, thank you, Dave, for all you do. Sarah, thank you, Sarah. Probably end up with this one, and then we're going to answer some questions. So, <clears throat> this came in. I saw this. Uh, sometimes I'm up late at night and researching or reading. Um, and in the course of, it was at uh, almost midnight, I get an email from Ed. And Ed, I wrote him today and asked him if it was all right if I could share his message to all of you um, today. And he said, yes, absolutely. He says, David, I'm 83, saw you at the San Francisco Whole Life Expo in the late 80s, solarizing, and said to myself, I want to look like that, Pop. What year was that? Probably right around 1991. Since I bought one, two, three over the years, and I cannot thank you enough for the quality of life I live. Thank you for cellar sizing. Here's a picture of me taken today. Here's to 2020. Sexy. This guy is 83 years old. And let me tell you, he's an inspiration to me. When he began cellar sizing, he was 10 years younger than I am now. He's 20 years older than I am. And I look at that and, and I think, Ed, thank you. You're an inspiration to me and a great many other people who are going to be benefiting from, from cellar sizing. And I told you this story. I know I've mentioned it, but it's worth repeating. The gentleman a few months ago, I wish I knew his name. He calls me up. Please call me back. He calls me up and he said, David, I just had to, I woke up this morning feeling great and I knew I had to call him and say thank you. I said, well, what for? And he said, well, 20 years ago, you introduced me to cellar size and it changed my life. I've watched my peers and my family and my friends pass on, a lot of them with poor health, on drugs and medications. He says, I woke up, I feel great, I'm still enjoying a great quality of life. I said, well, thank you for sharing that with me. And then he says, oh, and by the way, 20 years ago, when I began, I was in my 70s. Now, you know, it's been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. For those of you who are new to the program and have joined us, cellar size is not weight lifting, it's weight bearing. We don't limit the effect. The movement up and down applies weight to every cell tissue, every cell membrane in your entire body it does it over 100 times a minute. So as we're moving up and down, every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen, protein fibers, the entire body starts to tighten and tone and, and get stronger and firmer, but it works from the inside out. Internal organs, connective tissues firm up, the moving up and down creates a pumping action that opens up capillaries every day, increasing oxygen, blood flow to the brain, circulation through all different body parts and functions. And then we do different movements that are designed to target specific areas of the body. So we can re-strengthen and the structure around the knees and the hips and the back and the shoulders. Um, we can do uh, movements to open up the bronchial tubes and the lungs and change the larynx and, or the, the voice quality. And in fact, I'm, I'm going to do that so you can hear me better when I read some of these um, some of these questions that have come in and cus um, that, that Christine has for us. But this movement right here, you hear my voice right now, it's been a long day. So I'm going to go <laughs> 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 
and open up my voice a little bit so that I can project a little bit more and you can probably hear the difference. But uh, Christine, what are some of the questions that we have? All right. Okay, any tips for seniors getting on and off safely? Yes. If you're getting on your solar sizer, it's best to have a balance bar. If you have the balance bar, if you pull it toward you, it stiffens up. As you pull it toward you, you can grab with both hands and then just holding on to that step right up. That's very secure. When you're getting off, you don't want to get off like this. You want to pull that bar toward you again. And with the bar toward you, you can step down, step off, and you're supported. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All righty. Dave Hall, what bounces would help if there is a mild Parkinson's diagnosis? Has there been any data on this? We've had a number of people that have used it, and I've had people that have called me. I don't have anything in writing concerning it. Um, moving up and down stimulates brain activity, stimulates the nervous system, um, increases circulation. All those movements are helpful. Uh, we don't have any definitive information on that. We've got some incredible results with people that have had multiple sclerosis. Um, we've seen the results that they have. Um, limp system, limp function, or limp, lymphatic movement, even in the brain, is enhanced through the movement up and down in the solar sizer. And that helps to open up circulation and communication channels in the body as well. So. Is can you really do the Jamba bar without the balance bar? Will I ever get to that point oh. where I can do the Jamba run? There we go, without the balance bar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, even even I prefer to have the balance bar with uh, with the Jamba run because it's easier to stay back on your feet and do this, especially as you keep going. But you you can absolutely keeping the back straight again, the feet flat. As you become stronger, all the little muscles in your body get stronger, you can, you can even hold your hands out, which helps as well, because then you can sit back a little bit and you've got a little weight in front of you, and you can do the same thing. So, but it's, uh, you're gonna get tired a little faster without the balance bar as well. They both work, but you're using more, more muscles you'll have a tendency to, most people do, to want to lean forward a little bit as those muscles get a little more tired, which with the balance bar, you don't. You can stay back so you can really focus the effect. Okay. Please discuss how to heal Haglund's deformity. Okay, the issue, um, as I recall, the soft tissue. Is that a on the back of the heel? Yeah, behind the, the heel. Um, I wish I could give you advice. I'm not allowed to do that, nor can I, and I don't even know um, how effective it would be irrespective. What I can share with you are movements that are designed not to aggravate that area of the body, especially initially, until the body gets a little warm, more warmed up, and then we can do more vigorous movements. And that warm-up, um, is if you don't want it, the movement in the heel is to keep the feet flat and just gently move up and down just like this to begin with you're going to work the thighs and the knees more but you're not really doing a lot with the foot the movement up and down however is still pumping circulation and expanding and contracting tissue you're weightless over 100 times a minute then you have more weight 100 times a minute so that pumping helps to increase circulation. The circulation can help reduce any swelling and irritation and help promote the healing process. Once we've done this for a period of time and we feel comfortable and the tissue is warmed up, then we can start to lift our heels up more. And that is going to focus more on the back of the heel, which may not feel comfortable initially, but that movement as we do this, is, it's massaging and, um, and challenging those, those areas of the body. So as we increase the circulation, again, we can help promote the healing process. Okay. Please discuss why people, and the person who posted this knows of three personally, get dizzy, nauseous, oh, yeah. or uneasy feeling when first jumping on a stellar sizer and how to treat it. Thank you. All right. 
<coughs> moving up and down on the solar side moves fluid, moves oxygen, blood flow through all extremities of the body, including the brain. The brain, when you first begin with solar size, uh, the connective tissues surrounding the brain, they can lose fluid. And the brain itself is loose in the skull. Moving up and down can cause the brain to move up and down. And you can, it causes more fluid movement past the stirrup, the smallest one of our ear as well. And if that circulation, as we are increasing it initially, uh, it can make us a little, little dizzy. Um, so we begin in about two to three weeks. For most people, that goes away, by the way, because the connective tissue, that's one of the reasons boxers do a lot of jump roping, is to strengthen those connective tissues surrounding the brain. So when they get hit in the head, the brain's not loose, causing a knockout. Um, so up and down is going to cause that same movement up and down. You're not used to that, or even people with vertigo initially uh, hold on to that balance bar and just start off gently. And there's lots of different things you can do. But within a few weeks, that shouldn't be an issue anymore. If when you get right on it, if you've had a lot of stress, a lot of tension, those movements that I've taught where you're doing a little massage in the neck area, directly under where the uh, skull attaches to the atlas and helping to move that fluid can help increase that circulation and that flow as well. <clears throat> Please discuss if cellar sizing is beneficial after a total knee replacement and how long after surgery should I wait before starting up again? Good question. When I, I can't address your specific situation, you know that, but I teach doctors and physical therapists, the moment that they can start doing physical therapy and movements, there's advantages that you can have on a solar size that you don't get from typical therapy that simply addresses muscles and ligaments. Cellular size addresses tissue and the, the cellular structure of the muscles and the ligaments because of the movement up and down and that movement causing you can feel it. You just grab your shoulders and you can feel the movement in your shoulders. It's, it's pretty dramatic. So strengthening those same muscles and ligaments around the knees to help support the joint and increase flexibility and circulation immediately while reducing you know, swelling is, is simply by gently moving up and down. Um, this is one of the movements that I teach physical therapist, this is how, how to begin. This is a wake-up call for everything. And then once everything is increased in circulation and is more flexible, then we can address the knees. And simply by bending the knee and walking in place, we're working the whole front part of the knee. So all those muscles and ligaments in the front part of the knee. As we work the lateral knee, both sides of the knee, very few exercises will do this, we rock side to side. So we're just rocking side to side. And these, these are just very basic movements. As we become stronger, we'll do more. But these two movements, walking in place, gently bouncing up and down, rocking side to side. Um, beyond that, we'll do more extensive movements. You can stand on the cellar sizer, and I've demonstrated where you can hold on to something in front of you. and this takes a little more time and again this is where it's real important to consult with your doctor to find out how how much flexibility and movement you have but to begin with we can just bounce like this gently move up and down while we're on this cellar sizer until we can get to the point where we can bounce like this and this is what i teach basketball players as well is for the vertical movement and you can come down so you, depending on where you're at, you can come down low. And it's all going to be working specifically on those, those muscles. It's easier to have something you can hold on to. Okay. If you are strong enough to keep proper form and keep your knee from pronating, any harm in jumping on just one leg during parts of your routine? Well, I would ask, what, what would be the purpose? Um, 
I jump, I alternate legs so that we're applying the same amount of weight equally. If you, if you have a um, prosthesis or you're missing a limb, then you can help support with your arm as you're moving up and down. Uh, but just to do it, to do it, I don't personally see an advantage in that. Um, you have, if we have two legs, we can use both legs. And if you don't have proper support and you're jumping on one leg, then your, your hips have a tendency every time you land to torque. And if you're, that's why we would hold on to it with the bar. And yeah, sure, doing something like this. So you're giving some support. I don't see any problem with it. I get knee pain when I do the drama run. Am I doing something <laughs> wrong? <laughs> no, you're just feeling the, the effects of the drama run. Muscles and ligaments take time to build up. And just walking in place initially. Um, one of the neat things about the Jamba Run is that you're not hitting a hard surface. So you're going to challenge those areas of the body that may be weak, and as the, but without, without damaging them. So as we build them up, since solar size is very forgiving, it doesn't have that jarring effect. We, as we build up the knees and strengthen the knees, um, those issues generally fade away. If there's another issue, the cellar sizer may be exposing that issue before it becomes a real problem. And if you do notice pain or conditions in your body, um, it's a good idea to consult with your doctor. And always feel free to have your doctor give me a call. I train and teach doctors in cellar size and there are many different approaches that we can take on it. Okay. So they haven't bought the bar <clears throat> yet. They're working on it. Okay. And they use a chair. What's oh, something yeah. that they can sure. use, other ways that they can use to stabilize themselves? Absolutely. You can uh, put it next to an entertainment center and hold on to the entertainment center. You can put it next to this wall. If you, I don't know if you can see that in the, yeah, you can, you can grab the wall or, or grab out here. Put the cellar sizer closer. But the, the bar just is a convenience item. It, it makes it so you don't have to reach out and hold on to something. It's, it just happens to be right here. So. What specific exercises are good for poor circulation in hands, also cold hands and cold feet? You bet. All right. And this is a, this is a good one before you go to bed, too. And we've talked about it. We hold our fingers straight down. We start to gently move up and down. You can imagine what the fluid in our body is doing at the same time. So as we're moving up and down, we're helping to move circulation through the one-way valves to all extremities of the body. By holding our fingertips straight down, we can focus on the tips of the finger until we can feel the throbbing or the circulation. And it can take, it can take several minutes for some people as they're doing this. But the moment you take and you can feel the throbbing at the tips of your fingers, then just go ahead and relax. You're getting that circulation through all of your extremities. As you do this, as we lift the heels up and down, we're also pumping with the muscles in the lower extremities, helping to warm up the tissue. And in, well, that movement right here, just if you're under a lot of that circulation, the moment you do, you know you're getting it through all body parts and extremities, then just relax. Relax the shoulders, the back, and the buttocks. And do that for a few minutes and then go directly to bed. <laughs> okay. I badly sprained my ankle on November 15th. So I need to rehab hmm. now that the swelling is almost gone. Still feeling pain and some throbbing when it's been on when I've been on it for too long. Any thoughts on rehabbing that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I can relate to that. I've broke my ankle in two places and I actually held it over the side of the unit and you support yourself some and bounced up and down to promote faster healing. The doctors became my customers. I healed pretty quickly and without having to have a cast, which is what they wanted to put me in. 
So the movement up and down increases circulation, promotes heating again, and helps reduce swelling. So very important. Depending on the condition, holding it over the side can help. The moment we feel stronger, doctors know bones and muscles heal faster and grow stronger when exposed to some stress. That's the idea behind the walking cast. So when we're in that position, standing on the solar sizer, and just, again, rocking side to side, we're not using much of the ankle, but we are challenging it some. And we can challenge it a little bit more as we get a little stronger, lift those heels up and down. We can rock side to side and start to lift the heels up and down this way. And those movements strengthen the, the, uh, the ankles dramatically. And then eventually we're working on the lateral ankle as it becomes stronger again. So. All right, will you be making any muscle exercises available on the app? For like, I'm, I'm assuming the arms. That's the tour. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tour. <laughs> we are, absolutely. We've got several modules that we will be introducing the next round on our Mr. Rebounder app. How does exercising <coughs> help you know, like your cholesterol and triglycerides? Is that something that you've seen change Doc, that? Dr. Morton Walker in his book, um, Jumping for Health, actually talks about how it helps to lower elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels. The movement up and down opens up circulatory channels, breaks up blockages, activates all of your uh, protein fibers in the body, all of them and your ability to utilize nutrients, uh, increase metabolic processes, lower high blood pressure. It, he's also talked about that in his book. So, okay, so those are all the questions for tonight, so. Okay, did we get any on, online? Um, I was, <laughs> oh. I many of oh, you did, going. good, um, good. We, just, we did have a bunch of uh, respond to your post on objectives. Okay. Yes. And if you want to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Some of you have been getting great results. Some of you are a little discouraged. That's not unusual. One thing, the, the, the discouragement that we, we feel, that's okay. Um, we don't control how fast necessarily or, or the outcome of our choices. We simply make the choice. So when you make a choice and you follow through with the activity, the thing is not to be discouraged. The thing is to be um, encouraged. We want to be encouraged every time we get on that solar sizer because our body is absolutely without question being affected and stimulated and, and benefited from it. So um, moving up and down on that solar sizer if there are challenges, if you're not getting the results you want as fast as you want, we can up the intensity if we can. We want to up the intensity. If we can't up the intensity because of obstacles that could be weak knees or, or other issues we're, uh, that we're working with, then feel good about where you are right now while we work on those challenges first. And as we build up those areas, we'll be able to do more and more. Getting discouraged often, at least I've found in my life, is when I want my will to supersede God's will or, or I want results that I don't have control over. I can enjoy the journey. We can all learn to enjoy the journey. The end result, we don't always necessarily control. We can work toward it though. In the process of working toward it, we become empowered. We become enthusiastic. We become hopeful. If we're getting discouraged, then it, it, it demonstrates a weakness in something within our character that we have a, the privilege or opportunity of focusing on and working on. So I've been there. I know what it's like to be discouraged. Um, I got bit by a brown recluse, what? <laughs> in like five places on my ankle a few months ago. And I was discouraged because it's just now getting better. And it's, um, it's interesting 
we want to move faster sometimes than, than we can. But I am encouraged because I have continued to maintain. And in the process of maintaining, the body is continuing to adapt. It's the same thing with you. Whatever your condition, whatever your issue is, it's important to see yourself not as you are, but as you can become. Hold on to that vision. Enjoy the vision and enjoy the journey toward getting to it. That is a process. Then your character isn't determined by the conditions around you. Your character, the person you're becoming, are, is under your control. It's determined by the choices you make within you. I want you to be empowered. I want you to feel good about your life. I want you to feel good about where you are right now. I want you to feel good about where you're headed. And I want us all to know that we're not alone. We're collectively, we're together. We're a solar size family. And we're here to help support you. I want to throw out, I have a lot I want to accomplish in this year. And if you know of people who are centers of influence, where they would give me an opportunity to talk to them, to share my program. If somebody knows how I can get on Dr. Oz or any, any talk show programs where I can share this message, if you could, I'm just sending it out. If we can send it out, prove to them, I only need 10 minutes of their time, 10 minutes of their time, to show them how powerful the seller size message is and what we can do to improve their overall quality of life. I'm confident of that. I'm certain of that. Um, we are looking for additional resources so that we can move a little faster. My desire has been to help people, not to make a lot of money, and yet it takes the money, that part of it, to be able to build the programs to help support the movement forward. And I recognize that I can't do it alone. Uh, I am dependent upon you and outside sources to help me. I'm not asking for money. I'm asking for people that can help us um, get the message out. Uh, in, in a bigger way so that we will make the money. That'll be a byproduct. And then I'm going to put every dime I can toward developing the programs that I know are going to help you reach your greater health potential. That's coming from the heart. That's my objective this year. I'm relentless. I'm going to continue to pursue it. Um, and I'm going to do it because I know uh, each one of you are going to be able to benefit from it. Thank you very much. Have a great week. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. And remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in. Best in health.